Hi everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a product review. This is our double photo frame kit and I was making one up uh, to give as a gift the other day for a friend that's had a new baby boy and I thought I'd give you a walkthrough of the kit. Uh, we've got a single kit and a double kit bundle that comes with black tape um, and how to put it together as well. So let me take you through what's in the kit. Here's my gorgeous sister. Let's pop her to one side and show you what's inside. So these are all uh, laser cut pieces and in each kit you get pieces to make two single frames, portrait or landscape, or one double photo frame, portrait or landscape. And then they come with their little stands and then the risers as well that make it really easy to slot the pictures into the frames. So let me show you some samples of the single portrait, single landscape, so you could make two photo frames and with the stands they stand up really nicely. And then because I was in baby mode making the single photo frames for my friend's baby boy, I decided to make a double photo frame for a baby girl. And these ones have been decorated with papers from the baby boy and baby girl collection by Stamperia. And the double photo frame, I've used cardstock and I'll put the links to everything um, that I've used below. So I use cardstock to actually cover the frames and paper to decorate the front and the back and then to add the strips. And that was really nice actually. There's one paper in this collection that just has these gorgeous checked pieces on and they were the perfect width to add a border onto this wrapped frame. So I took strips of those and added it over the cardstock to make that lovely pink frame. For my second style of frame, um, double photo frame, I've used this fabulous collection from Stamperia, the Asueros du Sueno, and I've got my little cherubs in here dressed as pirates, one very timid pirate and one very outrageous pirate. Not necessarily the pictures that should go in the frame, but I just wanted to showcase the frames. And because the pictures are quite dark, this frame has got the dark edge to it. And to do that, I've used the tape. And later on in the video, I show you how to use our signature tape or graph tape to put a coloured edge and then decorate the frames with strips of paper rather than a huge piece of paper. So more economical to decorate your frames that way. But again, joined double photo frame with that beautiful paper. So those were the portrait options, but you can put the photo frame together so that it sits as a landscape double photo frame as well by following exactly the same process but just cutting your papers so they fit landscape on your frames and your backing boards rather than portrait. And these are my aunties and my grandma. I love this picture. So that was decorated in an old paper collection called Floral Shop by Graphic 45. And then of course you can bring them up and create um, and add as much detail as you want. So this one I decorated with Midnight Masquerade from Graphic 45. I've used patterns and solids. We've got an ephemera card here. I've raised the picture up on foam tape and we've got the border. I created a scene on the front with the minstrel and then I've added a lot of little glittery starry bits. And then I've gone for the orange that coordinates with the paper on the inside and wrapped the frames. So it's a really fun little kit that has loads of options in it. So in the next section of the video, I give you some inspiration on how to assemble the kits in different styles.
So in this section, I'm going to show you how to make the double photo frame portrait style with a taped edge, which gives you a lovely border around your frames. So to make the frame with the taped edge, um, I'm going to use the black signature construction tape of ours, but you could use any tape to coordinate with your paper choice. This is how you make the double photo frame. And this is how you sort your pieces. So you want your two backboards out of the kit, your two frames, and then two long narrow strips, one short for each of the frames. So I'm just going to work on one of them to start with. So the first thing to do is to take your tacky glue and working on the frame, just stick the strips around the two long edge edges and one short edge of each of your frames. So just use a little tacky glue, pop them in place, line them up, the little one in the middle. It doesn't take a lot of glue. And then just turn the frame and press it down onto your surface so that you get the outside edge perfectly level of each of the strips. And then pop that to one side while you work on the backing board and just check that they haven't moved while you've been moving the piece around. That's it. And then bring in your backing board and you want one of your large pieces of paper. Put a little bit of glue on the backing board just so that it holds onto the paper. And then stick it down centrally on the opposite side to the one you want facing you. And then take your double sided tape and put it all the way around the edge of the paper. Now I've gone around in one go because the red line tape is a real pain to get the backings off. So I go around in one go and then take it off in one go take the backing off in one go and then you want your scissors to trim the corners. Now when you trim the corners you want to come out a scissors width so it's about an eighth of an inch away from the corner of the chipboard. So go around and trim your corners. And then we're going to wrap this board so pick it up, fold it away from you, and then press the paper down onto the back of the board, and then do the same again for the other long side. So long sides first, and then just push the little triangles in the top corners inwards over the edge of the board, and then press down and fold over, and then do the same again at the other end and that just covers the chipboard corners. And that's it, that backing board is decorated. So you can put that one to one side. And now we're going to bring the frame in. So the first thing we're going to do with the frame is edge it. So as I said, you could use any craft tape, not washi tape because it's not particularly sticky and it will lift up but any craft tape will work. And the first thing to do on the front of the frame is to cut yourself some little strips and just put them across the corner. And you'll see why in a minute. So four little strips. Let's just cut another one. right across the corners. And then we're going to edge the outside edges. And to do that, you take your tape and 
starting at one end, pop the tape centrally onto the edge of the frame, hold it in place, roll it to the other end, press down on the outside and trim off. And then start in the middle, just ease the tape down and stick it onto both sides of the board. And then do the same on the other long edge. Press it down so that it stays in place. You can lift it up and reposition it. And then press it down. And then we're going to do the short ends, which are done slightly differently. So I'm going to start with the double end. Put your tape right at the end, take it all the way along and trim it so that it's level with the end of the board. And then just cut the corners just slightly and that will stop them curling up when you stick your paper strips in place. And then start in the middle, really press nice and firmly down around the chipboard edge. And then we're going to do exactly the same on this shaped edge. So start at the end, all the way along, press it into place, snip off so that your ends are level with the board and then just cut the corners back slightly. And press down. Now when you press down, just be careful and press down around that single thickness first. And then if you put the frame down, you can just ease the tape very gently where the single thickness goes to double because that's where the photo is going to slide in. So you may want to use your bone folder. Let's just grab mine, just to flatten the tape and just ease it into that drop. So I haven't ripped it, I've just shaped it. And this time we're cutting pieces that are the length of each of the sides. And then you put them into the recess, sit them on the edge of the board and then press them down either side. So if you press down on the side that's facing you, the side with the little black corners, and then turn over, you can ease the tape down and into that recess just by using your fingers. So the tape should hit the lip of these border strips. And then go around and do that with all of your edges. So that's the frame all edged. And now on the inside, we're going to put the acetate. So you want to grab some double-sided tape and put tape all the way around the just the edge of the recess. I prefer to use double-sided tape than tacky glue. And then it won't ooze onto the acetate. So all the way around the three sides with the recess and then when you get to the top put your tape about half an inch above the edge of the frame. And then take your tape backing off 
and then drop your acetate into that space, butting it up against the edge of the side pieces. And then if you need to, just trim it off over the top of the double-sided tape. And then while we're on this side, you want to put a strip of double-sided tape around the very outside of those side pieces. So just the three of them. So let's quickly do that. Pressing it down as you go. But leave the backings on. And then flip over. Then bring in your side strips, position them over the frame and make sure that you've got your edges inked. I just use a Distress ink pen, just a walnut stain ink pen all of the time just to get rid of that white core. And then put a little bit of glue in the centre of each piece and lay them over the side of the frame so that you've got an even border showing either side. If you smooth the glue out, it won't use out onto your acetate. And then, and then we're going to mitre the corners. So you want a ruler and a craft knife or a square rule. I'm just using this square rule. And you position it diagonally from the inside corner to the outside corner and just very lightly with a craft knife just drag it over the paper you can feel when it's cut through and then you get a perfect mitered corner so if you go around and do all of your corners And then just go back in and stick the rest of the strip down for each half of each strip. Then turn your frame over, remove the backing tape off the double-sided tape and then bring in your baseboard, centre your frame over it, make sure your pattern is going the right way and you've got the opening at the top for your photo sitting the right way and then centre it and stick it down over the pattern paper and press it firmly into place. And then repeat that for the other frame and then put them together, making sure that you've got the openings at the top on both. So if you sandwich them together, so the frames are on the inside and the backing boards are on the outside, on the left-hand edge of the top one, put two strips of double-sided tape so they start half an inch in from the top and the bottom, one right by the very edge and one about an inch in from the edge and then flip over and do that on the opposite side so that the two lots of tapes are on the same, same side. Then you want to take your joining strip and score it one inch in from one long edge, just lightly and just sort of slightly crease it. Then remove your backing strips from one side of your board. Bring in your scored strip. 
and just with one board with the scored edge up against the left edge of the board center it center the stroke between the top and bottom edge and stick down and that way by scoring it you know that that's a straight edge and then take the backing strips off the other completed frame sandwich the frames together and before you stick anything just check that you've got the openings at the top on both it's really easy to get um, to get that wrong hold them together and then just very gently bring the strip around and stick it down onto the back of the second frame and then you've got that gorgeous frame all joined together and then you can crease the second side and then they're joined how nice is that and then you just want to add your backing papers And that's it. That is your finished double photo frame. The only thing left to do is to add your pictures on the slide-in mats. I know these aren't really appropriate for the nice style of paper I've used, but these are my little pirates. And in he goes got one very shy pirate and one raucous pirate and that's it that is the finished double photo frame with the taped frames in this section i'm going to show you how to make the double photo frame with a wrapped frame that you can then decorate depending on whether you've chosen pattern papers or plain cardstock like i've used So the first thing to do is to take your large backing boards and your tacky glue and just put a little glue around the edge of the board and then some squiggles up and down the centre and position it in the middle of your largest piece of cardstock or paper. Press it down and then go round your paper with double sided tape and remove the backing strips. And then take your scissors and you're going to cut the card an eighth of an inch diagonally away from the corner of the board. And then using your work surface, just lift and fold away from you to get the crease going down the long edges and then stick the cardstock all your paper down onto the chipboard and then at either end you've got little triangles of cards sticking out over the chipboard just press those in and down to cover the corner and then lift up and fold over again at both ends and that covers your baseboard and then that can be put to one side. And then you want to bring in your frame, the next piece of large paper or cardstock, and your chipboard strips. So the first thing to do is put a little tacky glue around the frame and get it stuck down onto the cardstock. Left over and stick it centrally onto your cardstock or paper and then down your two long edges and one short edge put a little tacky glue and then stick your strips to the outside edge 
of the frame along the two long sides and the bottom edge and then just make sure that they're lined up nicely and the edges are straight and then just leave that to dry for a minute or two just so that these take and don't move drying take your double-sided tape and you're going to come right down from the top of the edge without the extra strip on on both sides and inside like that and then you're going to come down the outside all the way around like that and then two at the top one across the top of the center frame the cutout bit and one right at the top here and that one you're going to take up and over so that it meets the side strip I forgot this I'm just going to put another little bit on there and then we're going to cut the corners again and again you're going to cut an eighth of an inch away from the corner diagonally so don't go too close and now we're going to cut the center so you need a craft knife and you want to take off these central strips of tape and this top one And then take your craft knife and make a slit from each corner towards the center. It doesn't have to be straight, but it just needs to cut these pieces into four sections or the center into four sections. And then from the outside, you can turn over to the right side of the frame you want to press each of those sections down over the inner edge of the frame so that you get a nice crisp line. And then go to the right of the wrong side. And then you want to really fold them up and over onto the double sided tape. Press them down so that they stick nicely and you're sort of pushing them into that recess and then you take your craft knife and just run it down the recess and get rid of the excess card or paper and then the last one which is this top one just press down and I'm just going to use my straight edge. <laughs> I can't pick it up. Just to cut this section off in here. Like that. So that's the inside of the frame done. And then you want to remove the backings from the tape and do what we did before. Just use your surface to fold over the outer edges the long edges of your card paper cardstock and you press round and onto the back of the frame and then you get a nice square edge and then when you come to the ends I'm going to do the double thickness end first you push your little triangles in and then lift up and fold over 
and then you do the top one in the same way so you push in either side use your surface to crease the cardstock and then gently pull it down into the center working towards the edge and you'll find you've got a ridge and then you just want to use your bone folder and just stretch the card down onto the tape and that's the recess for you to add your picture and then tape all the way around the outer edges of the three sides with the raised sections on and then if you're going to add your acetate frame or acetate piece into the frame put double-sided tape around the edge of those raised sections and a strip across the top just under where your paper sits at the top there and take off the backings and then take your acetate and drop it into that recess. The easiest way is to start at that bottom edge and then just let the acetate fall into place. Press it down onto the double-sided tape. Press it down across the top and then I'm just using the straight edge again just to cut the acetate off at the top here. And then take the backings off. Bring in your backing board. Center the frame over the backing board and stick it in place. Press it down really firmly around the outside and then do that with your other board if you're making a double photo frame. Now I've just decorated, because I've decorated my frames with cardstock, I've gone around this one with a border that sits centrally on this frame and the strips of this patchwork paper from Baby Girl by Stamperio were the perfect width just to layer on the frame. So now we want to add these two pieces together. So what you want to check is that you've got the openings at the top on both of them. Sandwich them together and then lay them down so they open like a book. <clears throat> starting about a half an inch from the top and finishing half an inch from the bottom you put a strip of double-sided tape down the very edge and then one an inch in from the edge on the left hand side of that piece turn over and you're going to do the same but on the right hand side of the other frame like that and then it doesn't matter which one you start to work on just remove the backing strips And then bring in your piece of cardstock that you're going to use to join the two frames together. Centre the scored edge over the edge of the board with the tape on and press it down. And then put the two frames together. So line them up so that they are the same way and just check again that you've got the openings at the top 
lay them down flat, remove the backing tape, and then bring this card over and fold it tightly over the edge of the board. And then you can stand it up and just sort of recrease those edges. And then that gives you a really nice joint to your two photo frames. And then stick your choice of papers onto the front and back of your frames to finish the decoration. That is our double photo frame with a wrapped frame. So in this section I show you how to add the stand to the back of your picture frame so that you can make um, two single frames from your kit. So to make the single photo frame, you follow either of the previous videos, but use just one half of your kit. So the backboard, the frame, the risers or the spacers. And then you want to have one of these pieces. There's two in each kit and these are the stands. And you want to score the stand an inch from one short edge. Just lightly so that you score through half of the thickness. So I do that on a paper trimmer and just come down it once with the blade. And then you cut out your little pieces and we're going to wrap this. So it's this side that you're going to see. So you want to have the score scored side facing you and you're going to stick this onto the cardstock. just with a little glue. And then take your double-sided tape, go all the way around. Now I'm a lazy crafter, so with this red line tape, I just take it around the corner in a loop because I'm going to mitre the corners and get rid of these loopy bits in a minute. And then that saves you trying to pull off four strips of backing tape. So once you've gone all the way round, then take off your backing tape in one go. It's a bit fiddly <laughs> around the corner, but and then cut off your corner bits. Now when you're cutting, you want to cut an eighth of an inch away from the corner of the chipboard. If you don't, then you won't be able to hide the chipboard corners. And then we'll do the long sides first, just Use your work surface to crease the cardstock or card or paper over the long edge and press it down onto the board like that. And then you just fold the little triangles in at the end, covering the corners of the chipboard and fold again. And then do the same at the other end. Lift up and stick it down. Now on this top section here, you want to put two or three strips of double-sided tape. And this is the little bit that's going to stick to the back of the frame. And then one down by that crease or score line. And then 
bring in your little piece that's going to cover the back bottom section. So stick that in place with a little tacky glue. It's not going to be seen. And then flip over and on the right side you want to take a ruler or a straight edge and where that crease is and the score line you just want to ease that top section upwards so that your stand can sit at an angle and then turn over remove your bring in your photo frame now I've made this one landscape you could have made it portrait and you want to stick this little stand in place on the back so flip your frame over find the center line the bottom edge up with the bottom of your frame and then when you're happy that it's in the middle press the top section down that sticks it in place and then your little frame will stand up and that's it that's how to make a single frame from your kit either portrait or landscape and you can make two of those so thanks very much for watching i hope i've inspired you to create fun photo frames yourself do give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with new product launches and projects as they come out